Hey guys, this is Riding Mountain Gamer coming back at you with another FS19 video, and today we got a pretty neat video. Um, real cool. We are going to. I'm going to show you how to enable console command so that you can fly and see your FPS and uh, make it rain. Um, hide hot. Hide your HUD. There's a ton of different things you can do. I went just went through them. Actually, I tried making a video already. I kind of screwed it up, though, so this is a retake. Um, but there's a lot more on the console commands in FS17, and I'm lost on most of them. So um, some of you guys probably know much more than I do about what you can do with each of them. And some of them are going to probably take some playing around with to figure out what's going on. But for you, those of you guys that don't know, and actually that's probably why most of you are here, I'm going to show you how to enable it and then use it. So, before you open your game, you're going to want to go to Documents. Documents right here. Um, you're going to want to go to My Games. And you're going to want to click on your Farming Simulator Tales in 19 folder. For some of you guys, depending on your computer and your brand and what kind of system you're running it might be different in the end you want to just be able to get to your FS19 folder and uh, for me right now I'm actually reading off some notes uh, that I took from a video I did for FS17 so um, if you guys want maybe grab a pen and a paper and just write down the procedure for this because uh, it is quite a long procedure and it's easy to miss a step or forget a step so that might be helpful for some of you guys. So now you're going to want to go to you know, this uh, game XML file right here. And you're wanna, going to want to double click it. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to see here you're looking for development controls. You see here development controls. And I have mine set to true right now actually because I, I did it already and then I fired up the game. So I'd, you guys didn't have to wait for me to start the game. But yours is going to say false right here. Just go between the arrows, take away false, and type in true. And then you're just going to hit X up here, and it's going to pop up and at, ask if you want to save it. And you hit save, and um, that's all you need to do. You just X out of everything here. Now something that might happen, um, say you accidentally do change something else or for whatever reason your game won't start or maybe it's something completely unrelated to this but your game won't launch what I did, uh, actually I should have stayed on that it would happen to me in FS17 a few times and what I did is I deleted this game and this game settings file you just go right now you delete it you hit X and you launch the game and it should launch and it'll um, put these game and game settings files back to default uh, so if you're having problems launching your game or you want to put settings back to default, just delete those two and launch the game again. Okay, now you're going to want to start game. But I have my game already started, so if we do this, scene one, this should work hopefully. Okay, I think I should be recording the game now. Yeah, so get into your game here. And... You're, well, you're going to want to find your tilde key. Now for me on my laptop, it's right to the left of my number one key. It's like a little squiggly line sort of deal. Uh, I actually have a bunch of keys on there, but you, you might have just a separate tilde key. And you're going to want to hit that tilde key. And it brings up all your, this is your console command kind of base here. If you hit that tilde key again, you see right on the bottom there, the hashtag is going to come up. And yours should be blank. There shouldn't be anything there. Um, I think I actually just put a plus there. Yeah, I put a plus by accident. So if you hit the tab button, you're going to be able to tab. Oh, that's not good. Okay, if you hit the tab button now, yes, you can tab through all your all your console commands. I'm not gonna go, gonna go through everything because there are so many, like I didn't realize how many there were. I bet you there's two or three times as many console commands as there was in FS17. <coughs> and I have no clue what three quarters of them do. I have an idea, but I've, for the most part I got no clue. So you guys are probably gonna have to 
play around with them a bit and see what they do. Some of them seem kind of self-explaining, but um, the first one I'm going to show you guys, and the ones you're probably really interested in, is this um, toggle flight and no HUD mode. So all you're going to do is you're going to find this, and you're going to want to type true. Oops. True right beside it, and you hit enter. And then you hit the tilt key to close this. And now to close to hide your HUD, you're just gonna hit O and there you go. Look. You can only the only HUD I have open is top left there, but you hit O, it's gone, hit O, it comes back. So it's just like that, real nice and easy. Um I don't know if this if you save your game and exit and then come back, I don't know if that stays. It, I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but there you go. Oh it's gone. Oh, it's back. Okay, now to fly, you're going to hit J. And then that should allow you to fly. So if you hit Q, there you go, you're going up. That Q allows you to go up. And then if you hit E, E allows you to come down. And then when you're in there, it's just the, your same controls for your driving tractor. It's the W A S D is that's how you move around when you're in there. So that's pretty sweet. And then if you go back down to the ground and you hit J again, now you can't can't fly at all. You can't get off the ground. Uh, the second one I'm going to show you guys, and I actually haven't looked at this yet, so I'm very interested, is the show frame rate. Uh, now this could be helpful if you're recording and you want to see your frames per second. Um, I know for me, my game was really laggy when I was recording, so I want to see my frames per second, and they are very low, so I had to do some things to bump it up. Uh, but it's good to know just to see what you're running at. Really high, high-end computer, like the max you can run at is 60, I think. And the lowest you're really going to want to run at for a decent quality is 20. Um, so check ours here. So hit tilt again hit tilt and you get your hash mark there and you're going to tap through until you see show frame rate and there's a lot see there's frame rate frame rate limit fps there was limit frame rate before that there's lots of different stuff here i'm not going to explain everything you guys can tap through this and see what interests you there's a lot of debugging stuff I, i've noticed And that performance map test looks very interesting. Set daytime, set farm. That, that set farm's interesting too. I'm wondering if you can use that. Because when I came into this map, I'm way back where they think you're going to farm, and I actually moved my farm over to the other side of the map. So I'm wondering if you can use that to set where you come in. Okay, or show frame rate right here. So it's GS show frame rate. And all you're going to want to do is type in true. Oops. Hit enter. Okay, that's weird. So it's not showing the frame right here. But I got a shortcut here. If we go tilt and F2 that's not what I wanted. Oh, there, there we go, right there. You see my frame rates on the top right corner there in the green? I'm running about 25 to 26 FPS, which isn't that great, but it's still not too bad. I'll see, and then when you look over, there's more vehicles, it'll drop. So, how I did that is sorry, I kind of did that. What I was focusing on was that what I was doing. Um, all you do, and I think you can actually do this without doing the tilt thing. Let's see if we can get that, get this black screen area gone. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Sweet. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. Okay, sorry here. Tilt. Tilt. 
We'll see if we can find a show frame rate again. We'll type in false. There, okay, that's gone. And that FPS didn't change there. So see my... Oh, 30, nice. So you can see my frames per second on top right corner. It's still up at 30, it's still showing. And for, for some reason that um, console command didn't want to work. But the shortcut I have for you here is you hit F2 and tilt at the same time and it should bring it up. Now for me, I had to hit... Um, my uppercase button, my shift key at the same time to get my F2 to work because my F2 doesn't work for unless I hit my shift key. So you might have to do that, but that's going to bring up your FPS right there. And if we hit it again, it should. There it goes away. Although I brought up this again, which I don't want. So yeah, that's that's how you can see your, uh, that's how you can fly and see your frame rate. And that's how you can open up, enable and open up your console commands. As you can see, there is an absolute ton of console commands. I got, like I said, not sure what a lot of them do. Uh, it seems like a lot of them can help increase your game quality and performance. And if you're having issues with the game, it can help debug stuff. So lots of really helpful things there. Uh, so hopefully I helped you guys out. And hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned some stuff. Um, I, I for sure learned some stuff even in this video. But thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, leave a comment. Please uh, show this video and share this video with your friends and on social media. Uh, I feel like this video could help a lot of people out and show a lot of people some pretty neat stuff. And if you guys figure out what some of these other console commands do, shoot me a comment below the video and, and tell me. That would be really helpful. But thank you guys for watching and we'll see you all very soon.